Hi, I had a couple of queries from students who wanted to have a little bit of basic instruction on how to load their laboratory notes into lab archives. And this brief little video will give you a quick heads up on how to do it. Uh, first, you'll want to log into your lab archives account and bring up your notebook. And I have a copy of my notebook right here. You'll then want to go to your email where you have received your scanned documents. Here are my scanned documents right here. I'm going to download these to my local computer and they're now saved in a folder on my computer. When I go back to lab archives, my notes are going to go here in the in lab notes and you can see that I have a bunch of folders all set up here for each week of the semester coming up. Let's move our scanned notes from the first week here into week August 27th. First I want to add a new item, add new page, which I'm going to call scanned docs week one and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on this page and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to add an attachment. I click attachment and this brings up a new window. When I go back and find my document that I have scanned and saved to my computer, show in folder right there Here's my document right here, and I'm simply going to drag it right into here. It's now been dragged into and uh, ready to add to my scanned notebook. I finally hit Save to Page, and my scanned notes are visible right here. You can go back here and we click this page. You can see my laboratory safety document has been added. Let's look at the after lab questions real quick. They are also in lab archives close that down here and we can see after lab questions and I've added them already for lab number one. Click that page for the after lab questions and let's look at the first question right here. It, the question is asking what would be the total magnification for each lens setting with 15x oculars and 5, 20, 60, and 90x objectives. In order to be able to answer this question you mouse over the question and you click the button that says edit that brings up the rich text entry editor. I've already answered the first one, the 15x and 5x magnification. Let's add in the second one. In the for the second part of this question, it would be 15x ocular times 20x objective. Equals 300x total magnification. Finally, after you've answered your questions, you would want to answer all four of these possible objectives here. You hit save to page, and you can see that the text has been updated here. For one of the questions here, we had our diagram of a microscope, which we will want to label uh, as part of our after lab question. In order to be able to label this diagram, you click this down here that says view online and annotate. It brings up a new window. We can see the same microscope down here. Let's label these lenses down here. These are of course the objective lenses. In order to be able to label that, you click the text box and click and we're going to label this objective lenses. Hit done and then finally save the annotations. We can then close out this window, bring back our notebook, and when we reload the page, we'll be able to see that the objective lenses have now been edited. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me via email or catch me after class and I'll be able to go with it through you again.